everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Charmaine I go by Charmzy online and I do a mixture of style content curly hair content and mom life so if you are interested definitely follow as I will be more frequent with my uploads on YouTube it's been a long time I don't know I think we can all agree the last two years have been a little bit crazy and I feel like a lot of us are now, you know, coming to the surface <laughs> with this new life. It's not even post-pandemic. Can't even say that. But um, there is some more normalcy happening now. And it is the first day of spring, which is nice as well. So there's that. Now to catch up, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you haven't seen me in a really long time, my hair color has changed. I've gone back to my dark hair. And to be honest, as much as I love the blonde and the red, my curls really thrive when they are the closest to my natural color, which is dark brown. Um, and my hair is actually still drying right now, but I do feel like I, I'm about ready to lift the roots. I'm just using an Afro pick and to scrunch out a little bit of the crunch. I want to laugh. Oh, there goes my phone. Okay, I'm gonna just update you guys. This is not gonna be to totally formal um, on some life changes and things. So I wanna laugh because how I look here and how I look in the mirror right beside me, two totally different things. And I think that's probably the best way to start the update is to explain that when you see this video, um i probably shared the news <laughs> that i am expecting and so i'm actually preparing right now to film a little um i guess pregnancy announcement i don't even know how i'm gonna do it this is very spur of the moment um, i haven't you know what they say like after your first child you don't really do all the like extravagant stuff that you did with the first child or like going over the top with things and i can already see that happening where I was definitely very extra with announcing um, our first child and, you know, the whole gender reveal and all that stuff. And so um, I'm just going to, first I'll just show you what I'm looking at here. Can you even see? Oh, let me see. What I'll do is I'll turn the camera for a second. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> This hasn't been that hard to hide because, you know, you do a lot of stuff waist up or whatever, so you don't even see. Um, this is a bodysuit, but I was kind of thinking it might be kind of cool. Oh, my zipper is down. Oopsies. Um, to have that little look there, but I don't know. I'm still deciding. But in any case, there is the bump you can see. Um, I got really huge last time. Uh, so, I don't know. I think they say you show sooner with your second. I really love this outfit, by the way. These elastic pants or jeans are from Target. This is an old bodysuit from, um, let me see, from ASOS or a Zara, I think it is. It's like a wired. It's really old though, in any case. This is not any like reveal, gender reveal with my outfit colors. It's just like a nice spring look I was going for. So it's nothing to do with that. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is going to be the outfit I share for the announcement. I'm just kind of wearing this today. But there you go. You can see a view of my bump. I am due in September. I just had to show you this because just as I was about to figure out what I was wearing for this little announcement, um, this dress shows up that I ordered that I absolutely love. It actually just showed up on my Instagram feed. It's um, Sabo Skirt. I think it's... Uh, Australian brand and it just showed up these are my colors I love this it's like a crochet it's not see-through oops um it feels so comfy and I know I'll be able to grow with it too which is nice so I just wanted to show you a little sneak peek okay now I'm gonna go film oh I found a reel that I think I'm gonna do for it it's one where it's like Oh my god, I can't even remember the words. Something about seeing a bunch of pregnancy announcements on your feed and then it's like, okay, all right, I think it's my turn. Something like that. 
So I think I'm just gonna do that little thing. It's like eight seconds. So I think I'll do that. It's not like a trending song or anything, but I think it just perfectly kind of goes along with the theme. I'm out of breath. Um, so I'm gonna learn the lyrics really quick and then I'll just stand up and be like, da -da. and then the cat's out the bag so then I could just talk normally about it. I believe today the baby is the size of an avocado. <laughs> I think that's what it was on the app. Um, so surprise, surprise, I don't think I've given any clue or indication to this news whatsoever. So I'd be really surprised if any of you guessed. However, I will say my last um, content sponsored post, I work with a bra company or brand that does bras and um, like activewear as well as pajamas. And I feel like my my bra size looked completely different from my last post to my recent post. So anyone that knows me well was probably, actually no, people that do know me well messaged me and said something looks different. Um, so that was probably an indication. Actually, I'm wearing one of the bras now. They're so comfortable. It's called Third Love. This is not sponsored or anything by them, but I really do like the brand. And if you are interested, it's called Third Love. You can see it on my Instagram. In any case, that is part of my update. I have several things to update you on and we can definitely talk more pregnancy stuff um, in future videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can leave them below. Um, and I'm just glad to share it now because there's been so many times that I wanted to hop onto my stories and ask a quick question that was related to pregnancy because um, brands and things have totally changed since I had my son, which is now five years ago. And then I keep remembering like, oh my gosh, I didn't even share this news. So I'm just glad to just share it, hopefully today or before you see this, um, so then I can just speak candidly. Um, overall, I guess mostly people ask like, how are you feeling and stuff? I feel very similar to how I did my first pregnancy. I know every pregnancy is different. I have not had any morning sickness or anything like that. I just get tired, but I'm always tired being a mom, so I don't know if it's like, Pregnancy tired or mom life tired? I don't know, but I do get tired. And what else? Some slight like food aversions. Like sometimes things kind of turn me off, but not to the point again of like needing to throw up or anything. It's just kind of turned off a little bit. Oh, and no cravings. No, nothing that seems like a pregnancy craving at this point. Now, what else have I been working on? I've been working on some books. Um, if you haven't been following along on Instagram, one of my big dreams in life is to become a published author for children's books. And that process is, you know, it's not as easy as I thought it was. Um, I thought, you know, anybody could write a kid's book, but if you wanted to be traditionally published, there are definitely steps and like, um, guidelines and it's a whole process you have to go through it's not as easy as it appears to be so kudos to anyone out there that has a book in a bookstore <laughs> like it's not easy you got to get an a literary agent in most cases um you know you have to the whole process and then on top of that the actual story structure has to you know it's there's a whole art to it it's so much harder than i ever anticipated and so I've been working on that. Um, I've been writing several manuscripts because the more you write, the better you get. And I've been hiring professional editors to help out with the, the developmental editing stage, just so, you know, I, I, I'm pregnant. So it's not like I have all the time in the world right now, it kind of feels like go hard with this dream because I'm gonna get extra busy when baby number two is here, right? So that's why I wanted to hire that extra help um, for that. But in addition to that, I've also been working on self-publishing. So if you have not uh, followed that, I'll just show you really quickly. I created my first activity book for children. This is on Amazon now. I will link it below and I will talk about this more in another video. Um, this was my first experience with putting something out there. This is very new still. It's been two weeks. Thank you to everyone that supported it. Very, very simple book based on my son. Um, things that we do, we kind of just did at the kitchen table. 
drawing different emotions and so basically it's all about feelings and drawing the emotions that go with each one on each page um very simple i, I wanted something that i could have a bunch of these and then when we go on airplane um go to a restaurant which is starting to happen again um what else in a waiting room in the car drives i wanted something that could keep him busy because i'm not I'm not a big screen time um, person with my child. It just doesn't suit my child specifically. My child is on the autism spectrum. He is autistic and screen time can be great for some children, but for my child, we have to ration it because it can, it can overwhelm him a bit or overstimulate him. These have been really great for him. So along with that, he has been my inspiration for writing social stories. So that is what I've been working on right now. We have our first one coming out, hopefully April. Um, and it's all around him having a birthday party. And it kind of goes, just goes through the steps of a social experience um, for children out there that, you know, they don't have to be autistic. It could be for any child that, you know, needs a little help preparing for a new experience to lower their anxiety around something that's just new to them, especially for all these kids out there that have been home inside during COVID. We didn't really have birthday parties because of COVID. Um, so just kind of letting them know what to expect. I noticed how helpful they were for my son, going to the doctor, going to the dentist, seeing in actual books what happens, what tools they bring out. Um, because, you know, kids are doing every a lot of things for the first time. You can say to, you know, you can say to, a child oh don't worry that's just a stethoscope or whatever a child's not gonna know what that is unless they see it you know firsthand um, whatever the case may be so that is why I wanted to create these the series of social stories um, just to help reduce anxiety for kids going through new experiences so the second book will be a whole like bedtime routine because um, again if my child sees it in a book this is what you do this then this, then this. It just makes an experience so much smoother. Now, I think this is a lot of chatting for this little catch up. Um, I'm gonna be back with a whole hair routine very soon. I know a lot of a lot of you on my YouTube channel have followed for the hair, but hopefully you also enjoy little life updates as well. On my hair today, I have Lust Brands, Curly Styler combined with Weed Dad Heat and Humidity Gel. I created a reel very recently on my Instagram doing the little demo applying it. Um, I like that those two products work really well together for my hair. And so that's one of my favorite, I guess, product cocktails. So I could also leave a link to that reel down below as well. But I think I'm going to wrap this up for now. This was mostly to do a quick little catch up and we will chat more. We'll go through some style. I want to show you some things I bought for the new, the new bod, <laughs> the new mom bod. Um, but obviously I just had to share the news first so that it wasn't like out of the, no sorry, I just kind of knocked you guys over. Just so it's just not like, oh, all of a sudden she has a, a baby bump. So yeah, there's that. Okay. I've missed you guys. I'm glad to get back on YouTube and leave any video requ requests below, anything you like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.